Adobe has a new super resolution feature. However, Adobe Enhance does not work on black and white images. Let me explain. I'm Maurice, I'm a black and white photographer, and let's talk about Adobe Camera Raw. So as of March 15th, 2021, Adobe Camera Raw has changed and it's been updated to 13.2. This new update has a lot of great features. Let's talk about what it is first, right? Adobe Camera Raw is both a plugin to Photoshop and its own standalone app, and it really works great. According to Adobe themselves, this new update changes enhanced details to raw details. That's just changing the name of what that specific feature is. They specifically say it, quote, gives you crisp details and more accurate renditions of edges, it improves color rendering, and it reduces artifacts. However, the only supported files are raw mosaic files from cameras with Bayer sensors. As a reminder, a Bayer sensor is a color filter array, which adds the RBG color onto photo sensors. It actually adds it onto the grid. So what that means is monochrome cameras like the older Leica M monochrome, the Leica M monochrome type 246 that I used to own, the new M10 monochrome, and finally the Q2 monochrome, they're not supported. That's okay, more on that subject in a second. The Adobe article further goes on to say that super resolution creates the same type of image as raw details, but with two times the linear resolution. So two times linear resolution means that if the image is, let's use easy numbers, is 10 by 20, it'll become 20 by 40, effectively doubling both axes, both the height and width axis of the image. Now, interestingly, Lightroom already has this enhanced feature and you can use it whenever you want to. However, as a black and white photographer, I cannot because my cameras don't have a bare sensor. As such, they're not supported. And I'll show you right here. So here we are in Lightroom and you can clearly see that it's a black and white image. It's in monochrome. Let's go ahead and right click it and then go to Enhance Details. Remember, Enhance Details is the same thing as the new raw details. It just hasn't been updated in Lightroom yet. Let's go ahead and click Enhance Details and see what it says. So right here, you can see that it's an unsupported image, right? Enhanced details cannot be applied to the selected photo, and that's because of what we saw earlier. It doesn't work on monochrome sensors, but that's okay. We can get around this. Let's instead open up an image in Adobe Bridge. So right here, this is a picture of my desktop on Adobe Bridge. We're gonna open up this image right here. We're gonna right click it, we're gonna open it in camera raw. So I've already edited this image and, and here it is. It looks fine, we can see everything about it. Okay, we're gonna go to Enhance and then this uh, dialog box is gonna come up and show an Enhance Preview and we can look at, well, I, I'm gonna move it, like move the camera thing right to this guy who's in the train so we can kind of see the details around him. And then we can click and hold and hold to see, you see how it gets a little bit blurry without the enhance. When we let go, that's what the enhance looks like. It says the estimated time of completion is about four seconds. This is truthfully dependent on the processor that you have. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and click enhance and we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna enhance it. It's a long four seconds. Okay, it's done. So here we go right here. We're gonna go ahead and click that second image. This is the new image right here. I'm gonna download it to my desktop. So we're gonna put it on my desktop, yada, yada, yada. That's the enhanced one, we're gonna save it. Okay, so now let's look at the old image and the new image and see if there truly is a difference. First, we're gonna look at the old image right here and we're gonna go ahead and right click. We're gonna say uh, get info and we're gonna see what it says. Okay, so when we look at get info, it's 4,321 pixels by 3,457 pixels. And this was shot on my monochrome type 246. Let's right click this new enhanced image and get info and we can clearly see, if I put them side by side, that the pixel count has been effectively doubled. It's pretty amazing. But let's see if we can actually see a difference. Use preview and I'm gonna go ahead and scroll in into this guy right here. We're gonna look at how, and you can kind of see when we scroll in how that looks a little pixelated. It almost looks like there's a couple of boxes in it. It looks weird. You can tell that this is a digital file. Let's see if we get any better results with the enhanced version. So we can go ahead and open that up in preview and we're gonna scroll in and we're gonna look and see and hopefully, I think it looks better. I think that uh, you don't see as much pixelation. I don't see, I don't think you see 
as many boxes. I think you can, uh, I, I think that the, the rain looks rendered a little bit better on this new version. And this would be an acceptable file for me to use. So I can use a super resolution even though they are restricted by Adobe for some reason. As a side note, Adobe. What, what, what are you doing to me, people? What are you doing? Please, for the love of everything holy, make it so that monochrome images can be used. In that same article that we looked at, Adobe also claimed that this would be great for cropped work. I really like the crop, so we're gonna do an extreme cropping now and see if we can get some enhancements in the final image. So let's go back to Lightroom and we're gonna use this same image and we're gonna crop it, right? We're gonna crop it like crazy. Let's go ahead and open up the crop tool, press R. I'm gonna go into about here. I think this lady looks awesome. She is dressed smartly. That is a good crop. And we can see if we go in, right, there are a lot of, you know, there's a lot of softness to this almost. You can see the pixelation. So let's go ahead and just save it to the desktop just like this. I'm not going to um, enhance it any further. We're just going to save it to the desktop and then we're going to do the same thing we just did, right? So it's now on the desktop. I'm going to move it over to here yep. and we're going to open it in Bridge. So we're going to open up Bridge. There it is right there. We're going to open it up. We're going to open it up in Camera Raw. We're going to right click. We're going to enhance. It is complete. That happened pretty quickly. We're going to save it to the desktop. Let's get info. So this first one is 1,531 by 2,292. So this second one should be, I mean, exactly double that, right? <laughs> get info. And here we go. Okay. It definitely doubled the pixels. Let's see if there's any increase in visual accuracy. Let's see if there's less pixelation. Let's see if the image looks better. I'm gonna go in pretty close, see if I can't find some pix a pixelated area like this. Kind of this um, swirly weird bokeh that I got, this dreamy bokeh, but um, you can see kind of the pixelation in there. Now let's open the same image or the newer image. Let's open the newer image and see what we get. I don't know, what do you think? Let's see. So maybe there's a, a, a difference. Let me know what you think. I think this one looks a little more enhanced. I can tell that it's enhanced. Would I be able to tell that, that of the two images, one of them was in, increased in Adobe Raw? I don't know. I don't know. The Adobe Super Resolution feature works really well. I, I honestly think that it works pretty good. It's something that I will be using. I'm happy that I can use it on my black and white images um, and I will be adding it to my workflow. What about you? Will you be adding Super Resolution to your workflow? Let me know in the comments, I'm really interested. And you can check out some of my other videos. Right. You can check out some of my other videos over here. <laughs>